Hi, in this video, I just wanted to talk about um, my Hobonichi order for 2024. Now, I have already unpacked everything, but I love watching these videos, and even though this isn't a real unboxing, I just thought it would be um, fun to just show y'all everything that I got for this year. So, as I'm sure we've already all seen this beautiful box with this code, I ordered a lot of stuff this year, so I got my box fully intact. It was in a bigger box. Um, and then we have that quote that we've seen in all the unboxings, and then my box is empty. I just wanted to show it in the start, so I just have some extra things in here. Um, a Honichi pen, and then I got some of these A6 supplement notebooks. Now I've already taken one out and started using it, and it's like a navy color. And then there's also these, and these are cool because it's the Tomoe River paper. I'm pretty sure this, um, these perforated notebooks are still the old one. But these pages are really easy to rip out on the go. So that's why I always get a pack of these. Um, some of the other things that I got this year, the big things were I ordered, um, actually I ended up ordering four of these A5 notebooks, this beautiful cover. Um, they have those pages that switch colors out and two of them I've already gifted. Um, but these are just the two that I've kept for myself um, that I'm probably going to use eventually. They're not really in my system now one of my favorite things that I got for next year. Um, it's a new thing. It was the A6 Hone. And this I'm so excited about. I love this texture. It's like a canvasy texture. Like I'm not sure you can see it on camera, but I'm sure you've heard from other people already. And it already comes. We have the artist card, the little Hobonichi pamphlet, and then it comes with the writing board. But this is just so gorgeous. This end paper that's different from the planner and from the techo and then it's just a normal layout um just like the cousin in an a6 size or like the ja this is the japanese version i know um i ordered this before october 1st but it's like october 14th so they're already out with the english version of this um i just added it to my order now this unfortunately as much as i love this this is so gorgeous i'm giving this to one of my friends um along with an A5. Um, I gifted her a um, Hobonichi A5 like two, three years ago when we've been like nerding out about it ever since, but she's had some changes in her life and mentioned this A6, so I just ended up adding it to my order. Hopefully she'll enjoy it as well. Um, so I have that to the side. Then um, my favorite things that I ordered this year are these drawer pouches. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with these. Let me just put this back here. So this is the drawer pouch, and I've never had one before. This is the Ukrainian flowers design, um, which, hello, I'm not going to be mad about. But I already have this. I've been carrying this, actually, in just my tote bag and then switching it in and out of my backpack. It has just some cash, my extra cards, some promotional cards. I have some toothpicks, some Q-tips, my favorite lip gloss, just gum and um some more personal things in here so this i've just been i was gonna originally use it for stationery but i've been using it as kind of like just my everyday like everything pouch and i move it from my bags my purses to my backpack just depending what i'm doing um and it's just so gorgeous and i know that whenever i stop using it this would be great for travel i would love this as a travel wallet just like a passport all my passes some money some cash everything would be able to fit perfectly in here so I love this. Now, along with this and pouch, I've also purchased the small. And most of this year, I've been using a Passport Traveler's Notebook as a wallet. But it's just been a little bit bulky, especially since I'm kind of getting bored of the Passport Traveler's Notebook system as my everyday carry. So I kind of just changed this to my wallet. I have my most used cards, my IDs in here. And it's just so small. It's so cute. I have another card back here. And I've been actually using this as my wallet the past month, I think, since I've gotten this package. Um, and I love it. The design. Like, oh my goodness. Gorgeous. Now, um... I did get a few of this year's freebies and I opened them already. So I got this one and this one. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for, honestly, because one of them came with the Hobonichi that I got for my um, for my friend. So I'm probably going to give it to her, but or I'm going to give it to my little sister. I don't really have a use for these. I love the freebies from previous years, little paperweight I have somewhere around here. Um, but these, I guess, are just like cute. And then my favorite purchases of this year are my Hobonichi Weeks. 
So this one is actually for my sister. She already put, I bought this clear cover for her as a surprise for her. I love this navy. Actually, all of the neutrals from this year are so gorgeous. But then this small things cover is just so cute. Like it's like I really like here's these pancakes right here. This egg is my favorite. Now it's not really my style, but it's great for her. She loves it, especially against this navy. I haven't seen many people do that. I've seen it against like the purple and the yellow, but this is actually quite nice. And this is just the normal Hobonichi Two Weeks, the English version with the 70 note pages. So this, um, my sister's seen me use my Hobonichi Two Weeks the past two years. Um, she's going into her like, senior year of high school. So she thought this would be perfect. She loves how slim it is. And it's just been, I just grabbed this off her bookshelf for this video, but I was going to give it to her for Christmas. I already gifted it to her. It was too exciting. I had to share my Hobonichi joy with somebody. But then I have my Hobonichi for this year. Now, this cover was not my first choice. Let me tell you, I really wanted the Starry Night one, the one everyone's obsessed with. And I was like, no, let me get the um, the London Fabrics floral one because that's the version I had last year. And this did not catch. And then I was just going to get the Navy Mega. And I'll talk about my system in another video. But I ended up falling in love with this eventually, especially considering... The cover I'm going to use for my A6, which is this black leather cover right here. This one's from Aura Estelle. I got it probably like three years ago. Just this, the black with this Hobonichi Weeks is just so gorgeous to me. I love how it looks. The little, the soft blue with the brown. I think it'll look great, like even on my brown desk. It'll look wonderful with these Hobonichi pens this year. Hello. That's gorgeous. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about it not being a mega, but we're just going to see how it goes. And then I also got this pencil board. Now, if I was into those Hobonichi butterfly covers, if I that's what I wanted, if I had an A6 or an A5 that I was using right now, I probably would have gotten this cover. I love this design. I love the blue on the yellow. It just reminds me of the Ukrainian flag. I mean, hello? Like, can we, can we talk about that? I'm Ukrainian. But this, I just love the design. I'm going to keep it. I haven't really used pencil boards in my Hobonichi weeks before, so that's just going to be something new for next year. I mean, it kind of goes, but... It makes me really want the cover, the Twinkle Shells cover, which I know I'm not going to buy because I'm not going to use it, but it's okay. We're not hoarding here, not on this channel. Um, so this, that little pencil board, and it just sticks out at the top. Um, we'll see. I honestly just got it because it was cute and it was like four bucks off Hobonichi. Um, now, something I'm trying new for this year, I got this A6 planner. This is the English version, and I also got just a normal A6 pencil board for it just because I was ordering honestly like the Hobonichi order to get that shipping but I've never used an A6 Hobonichi I've used I used a cousin for two three years I've never used an A6 I thought it was too small but I have a very specific purpose for this book so I thought I would try it out and I honestly the English the reason I went for the English and not the original for example in in English why I went for this version is I just love how simple this layout is the red um i don't have the big bars i think it's not as bulky and because i have a very specific purpose for this hobonichi i kind of like how clean it is i don't need the check boxes i don't need all of the hours so like i said this is the english planner version um if we look at the a6 hobonichi original it's like the cousin so it has those check boxes and then there's the alternating colors for every month the difference with this one is they're all gray and then Sundays are red, which I don't mind. I'm going to be using this um, kind of as like a faith as a prayer journal. So I kind of actually like that the Sundays are red just because it's going to signify like the end of my week. I'll probably be at church those days. So um, I'll talk about more how I'm using this A6 in another video, but it's so cute. Like the size, I love A6. I've gone back to A6 time and time again. I just... This one day per page is too small for me for a planner or for a journal, so I have a very specific use for this, and I love how it looks with my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, and then, like I said, I got that pencil board. Um, so yeah, that's the reason I got the English version, the English planner version, and not any of the others. Two, the thing I'm a little bit concerned about is this grid size, just because I do just fine in this tiny grid in the Hobonichi Weeks. So this bigger grid, yeah, I'm going to have less writing space, but like I said, because I'm not using this as an everyday carry or a super specific journal, I think it should be okay. We're going to see how the year plays out, but I am going to be using it in my A6 Aura Estelle. This is like a strings and folio cover. I have this, just this Tomoe River paper insert in here that I made. 
Um, I have some Molang stickers back here. Probably this is just some watercolor. Um, this is a Chic Sparrow sticker. Some quotes. Um, just something that I wrote out a while ago. So this is just an insert that I've been using um, just on and off whenever I go into the A6 size. It's like half empty still. And this is that original Tomo River paper back when you can get it off Amazon. It was dotted on one side and blank on one side. So I remember when I stitched, I stitched this notebook together myself. So when I sewed it, I put this washi down in the middle to cover up my messed up stitching. But I remember I had to match up all of the pages so the dotted would be together and the blank. Like, okay, crazy. But in here is that Hobonichi memo pad that I took out earlier. Um, but I just slipped it or I just was trying to mess around where it would fit. So it would fit here or in here. And then I'm going to be using this insert with this A6 Hobonichi. And it just fits perfectly in this back pocket. So I'm excited about that. It's just so like, oh, it's gorgeous. Like, look how thick and chunky it is. And I, I don't know how, I'm not going to put like pictures or really put in like tip ins and things like that. Maybe some stickers here and there um, or some watercoloring here and there, but nothing crazy is going to go in here. So I feel like this would be perfect. And then I could just hook a fountain pen to the side here. And this is just so like, mm, and there's room to grow. Um, and then I can always take this insert out if it gets too chunky, but this is going to be just a part of my system for 2024. So I just love how they look together. I know I've been talking about it forever. I'm sorry. And then, so this is something new I'm trying this year. That's what I got. And then I'm already just storing it away like this for next year. Take this pen out. And then I got a few more accessories. I got this, um, page marker now i'm planning on using it with my hobonichi weeks i didn't order myself a clear cover for this year um honestly i'm probably just going to use my busted up ripped cover from last year i didn't feel a need to buy another clear cover because i just want to use a normal clear one and it's still around my old hobonichi but i'm thinking of using this bookmarker for it just because i throw this is my everyday like carry so i throw this everywhere and i could show you my hobonichi from last year I find it but a bunch of my pages got mangled up I kind of was just throwing it in my backpack to my purse to my car so um I would have it open sometimes or something would get in the middle so this is just going to secure that I keep it closed just because I don't want I love my leather covers but I don't want a leather cover for this I love the design I love the feel of even of the fabric so hopefully this is just going to keep it closed for me um and we'll see how that you that works once the year starts and the last accessory I got is I got one of those photo albums just because I've seen like Lindsay Scribbles and some other people using it as a sticker album. So here I just thought I'd flip through it. Now I have like two, three pages of stickers in each little signature, but I just thought it'd be nice. Like for on the go, it's that same A6 size and it's just nice um, on the side of my desk for my most used stickers. These, I am hoarding these. These are my favorite Sterling Ink stickers. They're from like two years ago. I wish she would bring this design back. Like, I have some more dot stickers back here. I love these. I remember I bought, like, three, four. This is I'm on my left fourth sheet of these blue circle icon stickers on, like, clear paper, I think. On clear sticker paper. So, these, I absolutely love. I'm on my, like, second, third sheet of these. I have some Rose, and T Rose Shop stickers, I think. These are some PMD stickers. I love this little girl, like, the little reading girl. Some Piper Paper Company. Now, I know I got an email from this company. The lady who makes them... I don't remember her name, but she changed her name. But I got, a, she was having a big sale. These were like 20 cent sticker sheets. So I got these like Starbucks, these matchas. These are Virgo and paper. I have a, I have a few sticker sheets of these left. I use these stickers a lot when I was in the Hobo Cousin. So I have a few of those sheets yet. Sometimes I use them in my bullet journal. Some more of those Piper paper. And then I have more PMD stickers. Dude, I love PMD. I like mark every time I go get my nails done, which you can see hasn't been for a while. Some more PMDs. Some more of that Rosen Tea Shop. I have a few Fox and Pip stamp um, samplers back here. Um, more of this like Dancing Girl from PMD. I love that. I'm sorry for the glare. I didn't even realize. Um, this one is from Virgo and Paper. This little card. I just threw it in here. Um, so it's just like, so cute. I like just again like bought this on a whim to try it out. But honestly I like it. Um, especially like it's very portable. And now you see it's like pretty chunked up. But it just sits to the side of my desk. So that's nice. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. That's everything that I got in my Hobonichi order um, this past year. So I'm just kind of laying it out. Um, I don't know, maybe for the end of the video. But yeah, 
Um, I just started off this channel. My name is Stephanie. I realized I didn't introduce myself in the beginning, but I would love if you guys would like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you got in your 2024 order. Um, let me know too if you've ever gotten one of these drawer pouches and how you're using them. Um, so yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.